You need the following tools for installing skirting boards. A silicone caulking gun, a bevel tool, a cross-cut saw or hand saw with mitre box, and a glue gun. You've installed your new floor. Time for the finishing touch. The finishing is also very important, so be sure to spend the time and care that is needed for installing the skirting boards. Do you have a water-resistant laminate flooring or is your floor located in a moist area such as a bathroom or kitchen? Then fill in the gap between the wall and floor with PE foam and finish with elastic silicone. Smooth out evenly and then this way everything will stay in place. Once you're done with the silicone, measure the angle of the room. This is easily done with a bevel tool, the ideal tool to measure angles. This step is to glue the skirting boards to each other perfectly later on. Use that angle on your circular saw. Professional tip, you want your skirting boards to be at the same height, so it's best to glue them together beforehand. Use glue with high initial adhesion. Don't forget to put something underneath the area you're gluing to avoid glue on the floor. Press well and let it dry. Use your gun to apply the glue to your walls. Take into account that glue dries quickly. Push the two pre-glued skirting boards against the wall and press well. The skirting boards will bend a bit and you'll see that they fit the wall perfectly. In moist rooms, it's best to fill them in with silicone at the bottom as well. Then, they're waterproof. Professional tip, glue on your hands. You can solve that in no time with acetone. Need more tips? Take a look at the other Quick Step tutorials.